Hi there, this is a tutorial for mappers and today we're going to look at zone portal. This is our first room and this is our second room. They're simply boxes just subtracted next to each other and then I subtracted a door. So you can uh, walk through one into the other. Now, we'd have to zone portal this in the game so people can report in and you can set up different properties for each room so let's get started now you need to know the sizes for the doors so when you subtract doors make sure you either use the same size or the standard size or you write down the sizes that you used or just zone portal simply after you subtract we have the measurements here so the height is 300 the width is 200 that's all I need so we go into the sheet builder right click that and it will open up properties here height 300, width 200 so we click build and you notice it's standing up but with you as it will be set on ax underscore horizontal you'll have it like that so just simply change the axis to the X axis, the one in the middle, and it will stand up like that and you could just simply close that. Now, we need to get this exactly in line, otherwise it will not work. The best way to do this, and the most accurate way to do this, is to do it in the 2D mode, which is above here. Now, the red is to build a brush, that's the one we're looking for. And as you can see, it touches the top here, which is fine. Move that over there, that's fine. So it touches the top, so it should touch the bottom as well. Go down. Yeah, it touches the bottom. So we know it's not too high or too low now. Now, if we go to the top, that square is the subtracted bit from the door but you might have loads of brushes so simply click and you see the yellow around the door frame to indicate this is the brush that we're looking at so we know we've identified the correct brush so we left click on the red brush just to build a brush and then hold down control and then drag it down with your left mouse to where it meets. You might want to zoom in by holding down your left and right mouse button and moving down on the mouse. As you can see, that was too high, so we moved it down. You also may not be able to get it exactly on the line. That's because my grid is set at one but by default it's not, so just simply go down here you see the drop down, click 1 now, let's check the bottom bottom's perfect, and as you can see it's looking much better than before, before it was over to the left now it looks good, and we've checked it in the 2D mode don't think you can do it in the 3D mode, which is this mode down below because you can't now, let's select the zone portal texture, just open the texture browser at the top, click the textures tab, that'll be open by default. Now we want to load up the editor texture, which is right here, t underscore a2 underscore editor dot utx. Double click that. Now we want to go into the subcategory called generic and as you see the zone portal is here if you cannot see it simply go into edit load entire package and it should appear now select this zone portal one which would be yellow background with blue writing across so now we should add the zone portal now we need to add a special brush which is this square down here. So left click that, 
and we want to select zone port 2 from this bit so select the drop button down by left clicking left click on the zone port 2 and click OK and there we go there's a zone port 2 and now we can see the zone port 2 with the texture applied also in the back it has zone port 2 as well now the way to check if it's done is most people use dynamic light so it should be on that by default and then the one next to it is the zone portal one so you click that everything will go weird if you move around it might happen like mine everything will go white but we need to simply do is click build all at the top right here and there we go everything's colored so this is blue the next one should be a different color which is green this indicates that this room is differently zoned to here as they're different colors so if you get the same color you've done it incorrect if you get different colors like this you've successfully done zone portaling i hope this has helped and remember to check us out at mappers.com have a great day